What is up y'all and welcome to my video about how to operate the alpha heater and some frequently asked questions about it. Before we get started, if you haven't bought your alpha heater yet, I'll leave a link in the description below that'll take you to where you can purchase one at a discount. So to start, find an outlet that is open and free from any obstructions and plug the heater in. And then simply switch on the power button and then the standby mode will be enabled. Then press the power button to start blowing hot air. You can increase or decrease the temperature by pressing the plus and minus buttons. Please note that the temperature shown on the heater is in Celsius. To adjust the fan speed, press the temperature control buttons at the same time. Press the timer button to set the number of hours before the heater auto shuts off and you can set up to 12 hours. And when you're ready to shut off the heater, press the power button to begin cooldown. The heater will then blow cold air for 60 seconds to cool the unit. What if the heater falls over? In this case, switch the heater off and unplug it for 5 minutes to cool down before plugging it back in. What if my heater won't securely stay plugged in? In this case, press and hold the adjustment button at the back of the unit, then turn the plug to the horizontal setting and plug back in. And if the heater is still not secured, your sockets are likely no longer UL certified and will need to be replaced by a professional. The weight of the heater is set to indicate whether sockets need to be replaced. This is to ensure that it's being plugged into an appropriate socket. How many watts does this heater use? It uses 650 watts on low and 1200 watts on high. How large of an area does it cover? It covers areas up to 350 square feet. Can I plug my heater into a travel adapter? Be careful, it's not recommended to plug this heater into just any adapter. Can I plug my heater into a power strip or extension? You should only plug the heater directly into the wall socket with no obstruction. Is the heater safe around children and pets? Mm, yes, as long as the appropriate amount of caution and care is taken. Always ensure the heater has cooled down before touching the surface. How far should the heater be kept away from furniture and appliances? Leave at least a foot of space and always keep the area in front of the heater free. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to try this alpha heater, I'll leave a link in the description below that'll take you to their official website. Have a good day and peace out.